Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Top 10 Worst Engineering Mistakes As we all know, the engineering world has seen some great achievements by contributing immensely towards changing the face of the Earth with their engineering masterpieces. Engineers have been known for pushing the boundaries of scientific invention and exploration and leading us to a simplified way of living. However, these same engineers are only humans and are prone to making mistakes. Engineers carry huge responsibilities over their shoulders, and their mistakes are nothing like the everyday work mistake of forgetting to save your document or sending the wrong email. When their blunder fails, it fails miserably, and most of the time, it costs human lives and great financial loss. Just a slight miscalculation can cause a huge disaster. Nevertheless, these disasters have been studied by future engineers to learn from the mistakes and improve the way of creating for our future engineers. Without further ado, let's take a look at Top 10 Worst Engineering Mistakes. Number 10. The Hindenburg Disaster The Hindenburg airship was made in Germany and at that time was heralded as the future of luxury air travel. It was the pride of Germany until May 6, 1937, when the airship caught fire and crashed as it attempted to land at the Naval Air Station in New Jersey. The disaster took away the lives of 36 people that included the passengers and crew members. How tragic! I mean, the airship looked fine before landing, so what was it that brought it down? Some people said that it was sabotaged, since it happened two years before World War II, but there was no evidence found. But rather, it said that an electrostatic discharge led to the ignition of the leaking hydrogen that started the fire. This theory was supported by the fact that the airship had burned and not exploded. There was also a thunderstorm while it was landing that led to the electrostatic discharge. Years later, as the engineers were trying to gather information on what happened, one airship historian, Dan Grossman, stated that the mistake they made with the Hindenburg airship was inflating it with hydrogen. As we all know, hydrogen is a dangerous and highly flammable gas. It's now confirmed that it was the hydrogen combined with bad weather at the Naval Air Station that took the airship down. Sadly, after the Hindenburg disaster, no passenger airship has ever been made since. It effectively ended the airship era. But who knows, maybe some genius engineer will come up with a new one. It's not the end of the world yet. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. The Collapse of the Quebec Bridge The Quebec Bridge was the world's largest cantilever bridge ever made during that time. It probably still is and has its name in the National Historic Site of Canada with its span of 1,801 feet. After 20 years in the making, the Quebec Bridge collapsed for the first time in 1907 and the second time in 1916. In 1907, the disaster killed as many as 88 workers and only 11 survived. They investigated the disaster and found out that the main cause of the bridge's failure was due to the improper design of the latticing on the compression cords. They decided to rebuild it for the second time, making the lower cords of the cantilever's arms several times stronger than before. However, in 1916, it collapsed again and the middle span fell into the river. This time, 13 workers lost their lives. It was reconstructed again in 1917, and to this date, it still stands strong. Number 8. The Titanic Titanic was the largest passenger ship ever built in 1912 and one of the most well-known engineering disasters in the world. It weighed 46,000 tons and was over 800 feet in length. It is known to have sunk after a collision with an iceberg and claimed the lives of more than 2,000 people on board. If you have watched the Titanic film, then you can imagine how tragic it was. The British ship was supposed to go to New York from Southampton. 
After its sinking that it was caused by the collision with an enormous iceberg, the engineering researchers had questions. It became a matter of analysis and investigations of how fast it sank. They discovered that the rivets were made up of low-quality iron, and as much as it was impressed in its mass, safety was not the primary focus during its construction. These were concluded after finding that one row of the safety boats were removed from the original design. This was done with a mission to allow for more space and a better view for passengers with first-class berths. I don't know about you, but I think that was a selfish move. I mean, more than half of the 2,200 people that were on board suffered the consequences of those changes made in the structure just for some people to enjoy luxury. Researchers also gave another reason for the sinking of the ship, being the fact that the content of sulfur in the steel was high, and with the low temperature of the water, it caused the whole steel and the rivets to be unable to compromise the compartment's ability to contain the flooding in the ship, thus sinking. Engineers have learned from these mistakes and the considerations are now applied to the construction of large ships as cautionary measures to avoid a similar disaster in the future. Number 7. The Nuclear Plant Explosion in Chernobyl In 1986, nuclear reactors in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded. It was the single worst nuclear power plant disaster ever recorded in human history that resulted in a severe nuclear meltdown. The explosion spread as far as Italy, and over 600,000 deaths could be linked to this catastrophe. It brought about 116,000 people that lived within a 30-kilometer radius to be evacuated and relocated to safer regions. The accident took place during a maintenance shutdown and was caused by a flawed reactor design that was operated with people who were not trained properly. They were testing if, during a loss of power, the turbine would still provide energy to the system to help run the cooling water pumps until the emergency power supply was online. Unfortunately, the test was carried out without safety precautions that caused the explosion. After the tragedy, they learned their lesson and applied these safety precautions in Western nuclear plants. Number 6. The Collapse of the Charles de Gaulle Airport The roof of an airport is the last thing you would expect to be tumbling down. In the early morning of May 23, 2004, a huge chunk of the roof of Terminal 2E of the Charles de Gaulle Airport came crashing down. Four people lost their lives instantly while three people got severe injuries. It had just been 11 months after opening when the disaster struck. The inquiry team did an investigation and found that the roof was not strong enough to hold the heavy metal pillars. It is advised that buildings with no internal supports must rely on the outer shell. With the way the terminal's tunnel was shaped, it had no internal support. After knowing the reason why it collapsed, the structure was rebuilt with a metal framework built upon the existing foundation. It later reopened in the spring of 2008. Number 5. The Collapse of the Tacoma Bridge In July 1940, Tacoma Bridge, also known as Galloping Gertie, was opened. At that time, it was featured as the third longest suspension bridge in the world. Four months after it was opened, it collapsed due to strong winds in that area. Surprisingly, no human life was lost except for a dog. Poor dog. Nevertheless, the disaster led to a loss of $6.4 million, which would be approximately $115 million today. The reason for the collapse is said to be the consequences of not accounting for an aerialastic flutter in its design. Ten years later, after the end of the Second World War, they started the construction of a replacement bridge. Although this engineering failure wasn't as tragic as the rest in this list, considering no one lost their life, it still was an immense engineering failure otherwise. What do you think? Share your opinion in the comments down below. Number 4. The Steamboat Explosion in the SS Sultana the SS Sultana was a steamboat engineered in the city of Cincinnati that used to sail on the Mississippi and Ohio rivers. The steamboat was known for its highly advanced safety equipment during those times. In 1865, three of the four boilers of the SS Sultana exploded, 
and the steamboat sank around 7 miles from Memphis. At that time, it was carrying approximately 2,300 passengers, which included released Union prisoners of war, civilians, and the crew. 1,500 to 1,800 passengers that were on board lost their lives. The research team did their investigation and after, they found that the leakage of the four boilers had started a few days before the incident and it hadn't been repaired. When they overloaded the SS Sultan, it made the disaster worse. Number 3. The Air France Concorde Flight Crash on July 25, 2000, the Air France Concorde flight crashed as soon as it took off from the Charles de Gaulle International Airport and killed 113 people. It was reported that the disaster happened because one of its tires was cut by a metal strip debris that was lying on the runway during its takeoff. It punctured the tire that was stuck under the wing, which led to a chained reaction, making the plane crash. After an investigation, it was found that it wasn't anything unusual. The other types of aircraft were also prone to such disasters, but the Concorde was more likely to result in the explosion of tires. Three years after the accident, the Concorde stopped running, and it also marked the end of the supersonic airliner. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. Number 2. An Epic Engineering Failure You probably want to know which bridge this is. Well, I'm sorry to say that we're in this together. This photo has been used as a thumbnail in YouTube videos and my sources couldn't get the original version of it. At least something funny came of it. The meme lords are saying that this is how engineers will be when they graduate from online engineering classes. Epic. What went wrong? The internet kept lagging, I couldn't hear the lessons. Kinda funny, but not so practical in the real world. Number 1. The Disaster of the Space Shuttle Challenger on January 28, 1986, the NASA Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds after it was launched on live TV and took the lives of the seven astronauts who were on board. Ronald Reagan, the US president of that time, established the Rogers Commission for the investigation of the incident. It was found that the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen propellant were released due to the collapse of the space shuttle's external fuel. The NASA managers are said to have ignored the warnings from the engineers about the problem with the O-rings and were eager to launch despite everything. After the disaster, NASA decided to add several checkpoints, including a new NASA safety office to prevent such a rapid decision when launching to stop that day from being repeated. With all these unthinkable tragedies, we are rest assured that they have left the new generation of engineers more cautious than ever. We all learn from our mistakes.